inspired by all these people today, and I have a real treat because uh, Melissa Grace did something pretty amazing this week. She heard about a restaurant that was going to do something that bothered her, but instead of getting mad and lashing out, she went and she had a conversation. And I'm going to let you let her tell you the rest of the story. So please welcome Melissa Grace with San Diego Rise Up. I'm Melissa Grace, founder of San Diego Rise Up. First, I want to say thank you to Reopen San Diego, who's paved the way for all of us as a community to be able to come together. They've been fighting tirelessly for 18 months when nobody was showing up. And so I'm, I, I'm blessed. I feel uh, honored to be able to pick up the second generation of this movement in order to unite the county of San Diego. And San Diego Rise Up first started because our, uh, our county board of supervisor, Nathan Fletcher, I'm in District 4, he's our supervisor, he was receiving an award for something that we did not agree with. And, you know, I couldn't sleep for three or four days thinking that he was going to receive an award. I said, I got to do something. I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of hearing other people talk. I want to take action. So we launched San Diego Rise Up and we opposed him receiving his award. And you know what? We got nothing but positive feedback from the community. We saw a demographic turnout that we had never seen before. 90% of people who are showing up I've never seen before. And they're between the ages of 25 and 45. And that is amazing because that's what it's going to take is our community of young people of the younger generation to stand up and say, we've had enough of this. So, you know, this deal with Sisters Pizza, I feel fortunate to be able to uh, wade through those difficult conversations and, and have the opportunity to be able to be a lead in the community. Because it would have been really easy to say, boycott Sisters Pizza, forget that place, never go back there, which is what a lot of people are continuing that rhetoric. But instead, we opted to meet face to face. I went down and had a conversation with the owner, Emily, and we said, hey, we gotta work this out. She says, I agree, I realize that that policy that we were trying to enact is divisive, it's not inclusive, and it's not what the community of Hillcrest stands for. As a young LGBT woman, I want to address Todd Gloria specifically. I hope that you can hear us. I hope that you're willing to listen and you're not turning yeah. the other cheek. Because the people of your community are saying no more. We are not going to oppose you. We are going to create a force so astronomically powerful that you will be overshadowed by the power of the people, and that's a promise. I am only going to promote community and unity and continuing for the people to work together every single day. And you know what? The swell is coming. Yeah.